welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today's video is a zara haul i did do a new in autumn zara haul last month which i'll leave a little card linked to but i did mention in that video that i found there wasn't that many autumnal bits in there wasn't many let me just put my phone on silent. <laughs> I did mention in that video that I didn't feel like they had the full wrath of autumn winter yet. So I was keen to do another order this month. And you know what? After putting in this order, I still want to order more. I might go in store. I feel like in store is a little bit better with Zara. Nonetheless, I have ordered some fashion and homeware they finally got homeware on their website which honestly made me so happy but before i jump into showing you what i picked up i did want to firstly mention that this video is very kindly sponsored by shop tagger shop tagger is a brand that i have worked with previously it is an online platform and app that you can download for free i'll show you on screen here how simple it is to do once you've downloaded shop tagger you can then visit your favorite stores like zara and you can save items that you love and what it'll do is it'll send you push notifications or email notifications to notify you when your selected item is either back in stock or reduced in price which is amazing especially for the upcoming festive season if you want to start shopping Christmas presents nice and early and make sure that you are ahead of the game with the sales and everything especially with Black Friday coming up as well what I have done is saved myself a Christmas shopping list uh, wish list which is for Christmas presents for friends and family that I want to save items to so that if it does get reduced in price I'm going to go ahead and purchase it nice and early before the festive period. Another element that I just wanted to add in here as well with shop tagger is if you add something to your bag and proceed to check out it automatically scans the internet to see if there are any coupon codes and then applies them automatically for you. You may have noticed in my last Zara haul there was one jumper in particular that a lot of you guys loved and it was in fact out of stock when I uploaded the video. So Shop Tagger would be the perfect thing to go to when something like that happens. So if in my videos I show an item, you click on the link in the description box and it is out of sale, then just simply save it to your Shop Tagger profile and it will just notify you when it's back in stock amazing how easy is that it's free to do so if you do want to download it for free i will leave a direct link in my description box which you can click through to download for free start shopping savvy like me i feel like i'm a savvy shopper i know what i'm doing now i've used shop tagger for so long that i can't recommend it enough so without further ado make sure you have grabbed yourself a nice cozy warm drink this is actually boiling it's too hot to even drink right now i've just made myself a coffee i'm just going to jump straight into showing you what i've got but be sure to subscribe if you haven't already click that notification bell give this video a thumbs up if you want more zara hauls in the upcoming months in the lead up to christmas and i'll also leave both my instagram fashion account and homeware account the fashion one is great if you want to see how i style up these items and the homeware one is great for now when I show you my homeware pieces that I picked up from Zara. If you want to see how I style them up in my home, links will be left in the description box. Just Frey Friends and one for the fashion one, Frey Friends and home for the homeware one. Right, let's jump into fashion first. I'm going to save the homeware because that's what I'm really excited for. So I'm going to save that for the end. Let's start with fashion. Oh, Zara's packaging. So neat and tidy and pretty. The first I'm going to show you is this it is a little cord a black knit cord this is super thick which is what I really wanted when I saw it online I wasn't sure how thick it was going to be it lives up to its expectations in terms of the quality I love Zara quality can be a bit hit and miss on the odd item I've picked up in the past but generally speaking I'd say Zara is my favorite brand so I've got a like a tube skirt and a knit crop top that go as a cord versatility you can wear them as separates that's what I love about cords so I'm going to try this on and show you what it looks like on I did pick up the skirt in a medium at $19.99 and the top in a small at also $19.99 ribbed knit cord love it I love how thick it is it's one of those um pieces that when you get it you're like yes quality 
So yeah, I love that. I feel like it holds me in quite nicely considering it's a bodycon fit. I like the little pop of midriff, but when you're just stood, it kind of like isn't obvious. It's a good length. I'll just show you a bit closer up so you can see the top. Maybe pair it with jeans or leather pants. Uh, it's very warm. I, I guess I will say that. The fact that it's thick, ribbed, tight. Well, not tight, but you know, fitted. I do feel like it could be a nice wintry piece as well. I mean, I had to. <sighs> I am the biggest Lion King fan. I'm obsessed with the new movie, obsessed with the old movie. I have a cuddly toy Simba in my bedroom, which I've had since I was a baby. I just love Lion King. We always said if we get a dog, what, let me rephrase that. When we get a dog, golden retriever, I'm gonna have to pick a name from the Lion King because I'm just that obsessed. Anyway, I picked up this t-shirt which I thought was super cute in a medium at 15.99. I wish I'd sized up to like an XL to have it super oversized with some leather trousers of which I've ordered a few pairs to try on. So that top, was you know intention for wearing the intention of wearing it like that but i don't know if it's as long as i thought so maybe i would tuck it in actually i'll try it on so you can see what it looks like on i don't know if i'm going a bit overboard with the whole lion king thing here i already have a sweatshirt from primark which i actually love it's very comfortable um what can i say great t-shirt in fact i have seen people wear this on instagram i think they have a load of different Disney memorabilia type t-shirts and prints. So the only thing I do wish is that I wish it was a lighter wash gray, like a real acid wash gray, but it's not, it's actually quite a dark charcoal gray, which I don't really wear this color. <laughs> I do still love it though. I think I just love it because it's Simra and Nala, let's be honest. I picked up this, which is so soft, it honestly, super super soft it is in a small at 12.99 a really really good staple that i thought would be nice to wear with just high waisted jeans or leather pants in the winter good as a layering piece as well so if i did want to wear jumpers like this but have a layer underneath when it gets particularly cold great for that they do have other colors available but this is like a nice peachy cream color Let's try it on so you can see what it looks like on. You know what? I love this top a lot more than I thought I would. I thought I'd be a bit like, mm, it's not my style, I like the oversized fit of things now. But the fact that I have nothing really like this, I think it's a good staple, what will be a good staple, especially in winter for a layering. And the best part about this is how soft it is. It is incredibly soft. So I wonder how it will wash though. Maybe I have to update you guys on that. But yeah, for now, um i'm gonna be going back and getting multiple colors next up i picked up this was this from the men's i think it might have been if i remember rightly i got it in a large 25.99 it is a thick ribbed knit sweatshirt in this cream color which i am obsessed with you can tell it's cream because of the contrast of the white on the tag but um yeah i really really like the the quality of this it feels nice and heavy and thick so i'm gonna try it on see what it looks like let me know what you think. I'm just trying it on with cycling shorts just so you can see like the length of it. Bearing in mind that it's a large. It is nice and long on the sleeves, which I love. It's not that long. Like I'm pulling it down to have it below my bum with cycling shorts. Probably more likely to wear it pulled up with jeans and just kind of tucked in. Do you know what? It's actually not fitting me how I thought it would. I might send this one back. I wanted it to be like baggy but it's tight across my hips i don't like that um i mean it's a good quality good ribbed knit long sleeve top but i do feel like the fit of it isn't quite how i imagined i mean it, it is nice just not how i imagined one two three four pairs of leather trousers one of the pair is actually suede now this is the legging mid-rise i got it in a medium at 25.99 Pretty sure I picked this up last year, sent it back because it was ill-fitting. Was hoping it was a different fit this year, but I actually think it's the exact same pair. So if you wanted to get your hands on these last year and couldn't, they are back in stock. But um, I'm going to send them back because the only reason why I don't like them is they're not high-rise enough for me. I like things over my belly button. I like to feel sucked in, so I'm not constantly hoisting or pulling up. It's in it's insecure it's secured in place 
Um, but these I know are the exact same pair, so I am going to send them back. I will show them on so you can see what they look like, but they're just not high enough for me. Right, so these are the leggings. They fit nice, they feel nice. Like I said, the only downside for me is that they're just not quite high enough. If I just lift up my t-shirt here, you can see from the back where they sit. Um, and then the front, they just kind of sit below my belly button, whereas I like things just above. So I feel like it's at my smallest part, which would be here, but instead they're here. So yeah, apart from that, I mean, if you wanted to wear something baggier and loose, they, they are a nice legging. I just feel like they're not the perfect fit for me and my body shape. That's the only thing I would say about these. I picked up this pair of leather trousers, faux leather trousers, in a small at $25.99. They're like a paper bag waist, not even paper bag waist, they're just a nice cinched in stretchy waistband. All the button hardware and everything is covered up with wrapping paper, not wrapping paper. <laughs> Like tissue paper so you know it's a brand new pair which I love love the color of these I thought they'd be something a little bit different to my black leather pants I've already worn my last year's Zara pair quite a lot this season so I know I'm gonna get wear out of leather trousers faux leather trousers and leggings because I really do live in them and I thought I would switch up nicely with a new nude color instead of the black I am obsessed I love them. They're actually a really almost cool toned beigey nude. So uh, yeah, I, I think they're really wearable. I think they're great to wear with whites and light colors, equally darks. But yeah, I really, really like these just as an alternative to black. And again, very relaxed fit, very comfortable. Okay, so I got two pairs of black leather pants. The first pair are like a jogger style with a drawstring and a little cinched in cuff there at the bottom these ones I picked up in a small at $25.99 love these but the second pair that I got well let me show you what these ones look like on first okay these are the leather jogger style I love these I'm a big fan of them I suppose we could take off these bits a uh, big fan of them as an alternative to I can't get that one off <laughs> What's all that on in a second? As an alternative to a leather legging or tighter leather pant. I just love the more relaxed, casual fit of these. And yeah, I'm a fan. The second pair of black leather pants that I got are way too big for me. I picked them up in a medium because I wasn't sure how small or like how tight fitting they were going to be. They're way too big, like to the point where I feel like I would need an extra small, which never happens. I'm a 12 generous not generous 12 i'm a 10 generous 10 on the bottom half if i could be an 11 that's probably what i would be then maybe a nine on top that's kind of how i equal out to a 10 uh so yeah i was disappointed with the sizing on these but i guess you know if i'd have stayed true to size with a small maybe it would have been okay but they're honestly just so big i love the style of them though like they're more of a straight leg relaxed fit rather than a tight just so I've got a bit of variety within my black leather pants. So I've got like legging style, tighter style, mom style, jogger style. I like a bit of variety. Uh, I'll show you what they look like on anywhere, but they are just miles too big. Need I say more? <laughs> Way too big. I think they are meant to sit a little bit lower, but it's just too big for me. If I wore them like here, I do actually like the more relaxed sort of straight leg as opposed to a tighter fitting skinny fit but the waist is just way too big so these are going back and then I also got a pair of shoes I love how their shoes come in like a separate little duster bag these ones I have actually already tried on and repackaged up so I'm just going to leave them as this and not try them on for you guys because honestly I couldn't even get them on so that's Another little sizing issue that I've had with Zara in the past with their shoes. 39, which is a UK 6. That is my size. Sometimes I can be a 6.5. But these are like way too small. They are, however, leather. So I do feel like they would give. I feel like you've got to squeeze your feet into them. And then they'll give. But 6.5 would have been perfect. They don't do half sizes. So I'm just going to send these ones back. They are 29.99 if you're interested. And then last i picked up a perfume i love the aesthetics of zara branding it's just minimal timeless chic 
love it. So I picked up a perfume from the Weekend Collection. It is white, very pristine and minimal, like I said, with the Zara branding on the front. Insider knowledge here, a store assistant once told, well, uh -huh, let me rephrase that. A store assistant once told me that all of Zara perfumes are just dupes, knockoffs, of uh, like high-end designer scents. So they obviously are well developed, but they're so affordable. I think, was this one? 5 99 for how many mils? 30 mils. So I got this to just go in my handbag. Spritz it on now. So a great just handbag, throw it in, 5 99 You can get smaller ones at 3 99 as well. And I don't know if because I got a perfume they put this in or not, but they also sent me a sample of the Cool Heights perfume as well, which I thought was a nice little touch. This is gonna go in my samples jar in our bathroom. And then maybe when I'm on like more of an evening out with a smaller bag, I'll throw this in as a handbag perfume. Okay, oh my gosh. Yay, onto the homeware. I'm so excited to be showing you the homeware. I'm so excited to be shopping homeware. Fun fact, I've never actually shopped Zara homeware before. I've been in, I've got inspiration from it, but I've actually found it's premium price point in comparison to the fashion. I do feel like fashion, there's a range of more, aff more affordable lines, but with the homeware, it's pretty top notch. It's like white company prices and I'm obsessed with the white company. Similar style as well. So I feel like if I'm gonna shop them, if I'm gonna splurge, I don't know, I would opt for the white company. However, I've put in an order. I am very pleasantly surprised. I've only got a few bits, nothing too big and bulky to show you. But the first item that I got, look, look at the packaging. It comes in its own little paper tissue paper. A towel. I wanted this waffle towel. They do do bigger ones, which this was a tester. I thought I'll get a hand towel first. I think it was 9.99, was it? Oh, the price isn't on there, but I'm pretty sure it was 9.99. I got a hand towel as a tester to maybe opt for a bigger bath towel and I do really like the quality of them so I may be opting for a full set of new towels from Zara. And then everything comes individually wrapped in this kind of packaging. So the, f oh my god, I am obsessed. I bought myself some white jasmine incense sticks. I cannot wait to burn these. I used to love burning incense. I don't know why, it was just something that I loved doing. And these were so affordable. I think they were about 2 99 maybe 1 99 I'll leave a link to them below. But I didn't have an incense holder. So I picked this one up from Poundland. So if you were interested in picking these up, then Poundland have incense stick holders. And you just simply light them, blow them out, and then they burn oh it smells amazing but again aesthetics look at this packaging and look at the actual color of the incense sticks they're like this gorgeous brownie neutral beige color oh, not that the color should matter but honestly it really does to me i actually want to get my hands on more scents of these again aesthetics honestly this makes me so happy i picked up this very simple in the same scent, the White Jasmine Soap Bar. Now, I love the packaging, so I actually thought I would keep it in its packaging like this and have it on our bath tray, right in the middle, on its own, maybe with a candle on one side or a reed diffuser in the middle, and just have a simple soap bar that looks beautiful. This was, I think this was 3 99 Why have they kept the prices, or taken the prices off? Okay, next. Up, I got oh, and then this was I think this was $15.99. Oh, I love it! I actually love it. As you can tell, I love candles, I love burning candles. Is that one on? Yes, it is. Oh, I've left the light there next to it. That's annoying. Oh, well, uh, this candle is in light cotton, and look at the bag it comes in. This is just the packaging. So that in itself just sold me, I'm not gonna lie. But also I just love the idea of keeping it like this until I do burn it. And then when I do burn it, the, the actual candle itself 
is just as beautiful. So this is the colour of it, it's like a natural beige colour and it has on the front there Zara Home light cotton, it has a little wooden lid, very simple, minimal, smells great for this room. I feel like this would be a nice bedroom scent with the light cotton. Mmm, lovely. If you compare that sort of size candle to a White Company one, I think the White Company ones are about £20 for the same size, so £15.99. See, it's not far off White, com oh, white Company prices. Okay, is this the last one? Oh, it is the last one. Well, last two, I'm, I'm going to say, because it is a set that you buy as separate. It is a hand soap and hand wash. Again, the design of these I thought looked so expensive. And I think these were about $1.99 each, maybe $2.99 each. So I went with the Eternal Musk. They do have loads of different scents and colours available. There was a brown coloured one that I nearly went for, but I thought, no, I'm going to go with black. In our bathroom, I have a black NARS candle, and then also these candles, the Olivia Blake ones are black, love them as well. So I went with black, but I could have easily gone for the brown ones. I also liked the scent, or the sound of the scent, Eternal Musk. So how simple, timeless, chic, expensive looking are these? And that, guys, is everything that I picked up on this trip to Zara slash it was an online trip, I'm not going to lie. If you do want to see any more Zara hauls, do let me know. Because like I said, I do want to go in store in Manchester. Because their store is so big, it's really good. And online I do feel like you're somewhat limited. I'm also going to do a shopping trip to Leeds, probably with my mum soon. In the lead up to Christmas. Because again, they have a beautiful Zara home. Oh, love it. Traffic Centre have one as well actually, I could go there. Anyway, I digress. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to download Shop Tagger for free via the link that I will leave in my description box down below, along with all the links to all the items that I can find. If anything is out of stock, don't forget to save it with Shop Tagger and you'll be notified as soon as it's back in stock. So thanks again for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.